Okay. We'll have uh, Dale Holt going to lead some word of prayer. If you'll stand up, please. Our dear gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we're so grateful you allowed us to be here tonight in order to do the work for the county. God, we ask that you bless each one that is here. Bless the things that we try to do, God. Bless our extended families that are here with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Sorry, Thank everybody for being here. We don't have a whole lot on the agenda tonight. Um, just want to call everybody together, let everybody be on the same page of where we're at. Uh, what we're going to do to start off, I think, is to have our one speaker come and talk to us. Okay. Um. Okay, you're done. <laughs> Two seconds is all you got. Okay, um, as y'all know, we are in the red in our reporting budget. And it is re the payroll salaries that's sucking it dry. So I'm here to discuss options. I have a couple of ideas. Um, kind of want to talk to you guys, see what kind of ideas you have what you think we should do. Um, I don't know if y'all want me to start or if you want to start. Hey, or would, would, would you care if I interjected no, just a couple ahead. of words? Um, the recorder's cost fund is the, uh, the fund that she's talking about that's in the red. 75% of it can be used for salaries. 25% of it can be used for other and she has been funding the majority of her department out of that cost fund to show exactly how much county general subsidizes her or how much she she doesn't pay her own way pretty much that's for like two years it this is. is our third year we've been two and a half is how long it's well two basically is what it's like it was a good try you know i really i really hoped that it was going to work by statute the duration by statute the clerk can determine what gets spent out of that fund so she was a, she obliged us enough in the past to say let's let's fund my office out of it instead of trying to sandbag that money which I always appreciated it it doesn't mean that she's overspending because she's in the red it just means that the funding hasn't come in on the back side of it and it's all county general. That fund is a, is a part of county general. It affects county general, whether the payroll comes out of their quarter's cost fund or it comes out of their other fund, it's all coming out in the end of county general. So it's simple book work. So I will shut up and- Okay. Um, let me just tell you kind of what's in your packet in case some of you don't know. The first page, uh, Del Holt had asked me to to get totals from January 1 to June 30th, 17, 18, and 19, so we can kind of compare the years because it was going. That's just the totals on the front page of what um, we brought in and what we paid out, basically. The second page is a lot more detailed. It shows you, uh, the first column shows how much recording I paid to Misty to, for the recording department, okay? And then the next one is what she actually got to put into general. And then child support and the commissioner's fee fund, those are funds that are held strictly by, well, they're held by Misty, but they're strictly spent in my office only. So that's, I pay her that money each month to go on my line item. And then the DF&A is, I send that to the state because that is uh, foreclosures. My glasses are fogging over, I'm sorry. Um, so that's, that's the total pretty much of what we do with that. And I've laid out like that each year. Um, the next page, I just kind of um, gave you our caseloads for the past three years, kind of what we, some of my big hitters, what we do mostly. You can tell we're, you know, 2017 was a pretty good year. 2018, you know, kind of back off a little bit. 
2019, in some areas, I think like criminal, for instance, I won't be way above what I have been the last two years by the end of the year. Our criminal has blown up this year. Um, civil, I think we'll be really close to civil by the end of the year. Um, that's really got to be a big area too. We we'll get we do a lot of filings on civil. Um, that's pretty much a full-time deal right there. And then of course domestic relations, you know, that's that's anything from divorces, child custody, order of protections. We do a ton of order of protections. Um, it also includes um, child change of custody, I mean all these things, child support, change of custody, divorce. So that's you never know how that's going to go, but I think we'll probably get pretty close. We're already pretty much halfway there. And this is June, so I figure we'll get close to the same numbers. Um, probate there again, that's basically estates and adoptions. Um, you, just, you never know how that's going to go. And juvenile, as we all know, it depends on how many bad kids we have. I mean, I hate <laughs> And how many VHS adoptions. I mean, you know, that's kind of how that goes. And then the other one I gave you, um, this is going to come up a little later before I'm finished. Um, I gave you a list of all of my clerks and a detailed list, to the best of my ability, who, the detailed list of what they do. Um, so that goes for each one of my girls, each department. Um, if you have any questions about that. And then the last two pages is. Um, just a copy of my, I keep a budget. When Pam gives me my budgets, I go into my Excel program and I put my budget in there. And each time I pay a bill, I deduct it off there to try to keep, so I kind of know where I stand. I have Tanya give me um, a copy from their system twice a year to make sure I'm on the same number. So that one is cost fun. That tells you kind of what we've got going on there. Today, this is, this was printed, uh, one day last week, I believe. And then the other one is a general fund. Kind of shows what's taken out of it, what salaries and all that. So the majority of my salary were taken out of the reporting fund. There's only one salary and benefits taken out of general. So do you have any questions? And I want to say, um, I don't take some time. Um, in January 2017, well, first let me say this. On top of this money issue, I was informed today that I'm losing one of my part-time deputies. She is court reporter, and she says that the job is just getting to me to do both. So, um, She's a part-time position. I want to be able to replace that position because she, on this list of duties, is under Jan, and she does all the juvenile, which is DHS and FINS. She does all the dependent, dependent neglect, the juvenile delinquencies, the DHS adoptions, appeals. She does all my civil, which is foreclosures, credit card debt, land disputes, commissioner sales, that's just a scratch the top of it. That's a big job. And she is there two to three days a week and she can't look up while she's there. Um, I do do my best to back up when she's not there. I have another girl that does the same thing, but we each have our own stuff we're doing too. So that's why that position is very important be able to, to replace. But what I wanted to say about that is when I came in office in 2017, there were three full-time and one part-time employees in the court office only. And then there was two full-time in the recording office. So when I come in, I cut one of the full-time positions in recording to part-time. And then in 2018, December 2018, Janice in my court office retired. They were all being paid on my recording budget, but I wasn't allowed to replace Janice. So I lost basically a person and a half since I've been in office. 
And sure, our numbers fluctuate as far as what's coming in certain times of the year. But the fact is the job's still there. Now, we are on e-reporting. That started in 2016 before I came into office. There again, they had another per extra person and a half than what I have now. Um, just because we're e-filing doesn't mean it takes less work. We don't touch as much paper, but the system, the AOC court system, we have to take multiple different steps to get one case in the system. Actually, I think it takes us longer to enter a case and enter the paperwork than it did when we just file marked it, stuck it to the and went on about our way. So that is an issue we have. But we're making it. We absorbed Janice's work. Um, it's It's been fine. It's been tough because everybody's kind of running to different stations, you know, all day long. And I just um, wanted y'all to know you know, so talking about Jan, that, you know, we do have that issue where I am down people. We're still doing the same work. I think we're doing more work. Like I said, the program is harder. I brought Lori with me tonight. She does all of my criminal. After court, she may come, they may come down, or I may come down to the stat this thick. And it's orders, sentencing orders, you know, pretrial orders, scheduling orders, all this stuff that she has to basically scan all that stuff in, go through all the steps, put all the dates in there. It's not just scanned in and follow the way it's done. It doesn't work that way. Um, and on sentencing orders, she has to scan that in. She has to go through all the steps, put the fines, the cost, every single thing, how long they're going to prison for, if they got a suspended sentence, all that. And it takes her a good week, if not longer, to get that one court date done. And then we got other court date. She also does jury, and you know, there's several different things. You can look on the list yourself to see. So, what I'm proposing is this. Y'all shoot back if you don't like it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bill, give me, give me a chance here. Um, you know, in the past, before I come in 17, we, the budget was 75% of reporting went into the county jail. 25% stayed in the recording account for the clerk's office to use for software, computers, anything we needed. So when I come in, I took all that back and put everything in my budget. So what I'm proposing now is we know we're going to have to put salaries back in general. I mean, there's just no way around it. It's, it's going to have to happen now or the first year. I don't like it. I don't like to know that I failed at something. That really gets me hard. But I tried. And we talked about this when I tried. It may work and it may not. But you didn't fail. I didn't fail, but in my mind I failed. Okay, that's that's just why my mind works. But what I'm asking is for the county either now or at the end first of next year to put all of my salaries back in county general take the 75 percent back to help offset that i'll keep the 25 percent like i have to do and once i you know if we if we do it now then i can let that recording account come up out of the red and then january 1 if not before i'm going to put my two part-time salaries back in recording out of my 25 percent and I think the only thing, the only benefits they get are retirement. They don't get any other insurance, any other benefits, just the retirement. So I think if I talk, I talk to Misty, and I think once we get the recording back out of the bread, I can, you know, I can, because I pay her sometimes fifteen thousand, sometimes seventeen. It just depends on the month. Sometimes twenty. Um, I think that eighteen hundred dollars or whatever the retirement would be we would be very able to take care of that part, plus other things I need to have that budget. And if we can't move it all now, my proposal is, can we sit on it? Can we let it ride the rest of the year? And then do a cleanup at the end of the year? Or move everything to general, except those two part-time people, 
we would be less in the hole at the end of the year in reporting. We might get lucky enough that we're out of the hole and then do the cleanup there. Now, y'all give me Can your I suggestions. <laughs> yeah. oh, it, it's my opinion that we leave things as they are. County General is going to have to give her some money to make it to the end of the year because I, my office can't let that category go in the red for personal services. See, on See I, 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 com I completely agree with you, and uh, that. If we if we just uh, move enough over to take care of it this year, and then the way she's wanting to do it next year makes for a really clean audit. Yes, yes, <laughs> we want clean audit. Yeah, and I, I just want I want <laughs> to do it. I mean, like I said, it bothers me that we have to do this in the first place. If any of y'all know me very well, you know I don't like stuff like this to happen. And I just want to make it to where it's easiest for the county. It works the best for the county, and it doesn't put doesn't any more strength than what we're already in. That's kind of where I'm Okay, let me make sure I understand. Okay. We're going to leave it like it is right now. Okay. At the end of the year, we're going to move all those positions back into County General for next all year. Full time. Our full time positions. All the full time. But here's my question. It's all ins and outs. Yes. And when we say move it back into County General, it really well, is. Well, it still is. But, but, they're gonna, but they're gonna get the, they're gonna get to keep the 75%. Right. Yeah, we're gonna get the money year. too. Right. right. Instead of me keeping it, right. they're gonna get the 75% back. So it will offset some of it, depending on how quick, you know, how the money flows. Right. But if we do that, here's my question. If we did that, we're gonna be in the red at the end of the year in reporting. So when yep. we start January one we're going to have to somehow be in the black in reporting before I can start paying those two salaries out there. Because Misty says there's nothing in that account. The whole account's in red, not just salaries. And I misunderstood that. That's my fault. And it's like 22? 22, 22 something, I think. Misty, yeah, it's low for 20,000. And we'll still got payroll this month. Yeah. And I've already paid her my payment for this month. I mean, I won't pay her another one. That's why I didn't know what the best okay, way to do it. How bad are we going to get written up? We, we, we're not. We're 50% we're percent, we're percent through the year. We have, we have 13 pay periods behind us. We have 13 pay periods ahead of us. Mm -hmm. So if we take what we're in the red, 22000 it's safe to say we need to double that, move that over, call it good, and then we redo it going into next year. what she's brought in for this year and what's went out and on top of that she had like 12,000 rollover that we started oh, with okay gotcha was that negative rollover huh? negative no, or positive it no it's a positive it was a positive, positive. okay yeah I didn't I, start I, negative so. I think it was <laughs> 22 and 12 all I did we're was talking. double it what double what she's brought in and double what she's paid out and it's around 74,000 and see, I, and I, I understand your numbers. I think some of our numbers are a little bit off because of other things. But when we first did this, it should have only been like 40000 40100 it's on that sheet. So like like we talked, the anticipation was too high going into it this. Yes, way too, way too high. high. Well, it looks like in the budget it had a projected rollover of like twenty two, and then it was only 12 Well, she did that earlier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it just so, so, so I think the combination of that yeah, the and then the combination of being the projection high, being yeah. set too high, I think it was just a big, a big cluster <laughs> that no one really expected to be there. At the end of the day, we have a triangle and we have pool balls in it. Huh? I said at the end of the day, we have a triangle and we have pool balls <laughs> in it. No matter how we rearrange them, we just need to keep the pool balls in the triangle. Yeah. But it's all, it's all the same thing. No matter how we rearrange them, it's all the well, same. Well, and, and I do want, I mean, I know that the part time salaries are only like 24, 25,000 a year, 
that's not much, but that's at least something I can take back in my recording to keep it out of general. I mean, um, it's not going to help a whole lot, but it helps some. Okay. And, and, and this is not the situation we're in. We're in just, just correct me if I'm not uh -huh. wrong. Uh, but it's not because you did anything different than what you've done in the last three years. No, there has been. And it's just because the revenue no. hasn't been coming in the way. The only thing history. I have done different was um, on Misty's sheet that. I paid $1,500, I think, to help the sheriff's office get that program so they start collecting tax information. I paid that out of my reporting line. I had like 3000 and something dollars, and then I paid half of that to help them. I think Pam did some, Chad did some, um, Judge Foster did some. I thought that was already appropriate. Yeah, it was already appropriate. It wasn't even, okay. there has been nothing extra added to it. There's been no pay increases. There's been no one hired. Um, Nothing. Nothing's been different. It's just that the money is just not coming in like we thought. And I went back like I think it was three years when we first started looking at this, and she had like a cushion, and that cushion is just dwindled down. The payroll was just taken. Out. So that's what we. Got. It helped while it lasted. It helped sure. while it lasted. I hope. Um, I just really thought that it would be able to, you know, support itself. Well, and, and I agree with Pam too. I mean, it's not nothing that you've, uh, it's not that you failed. No, you have yeah. not. Yeah. You have not failed. <laughs> it, it well, I appreciate because, that. You, know, you, have, oh, you oh. have excelled. You have well, not failed. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Maybe I'll sleep better tonight. <laughs> While you're considering what to do with that, may I approach you? All right. This. Is it about me? <laughs> well, it's about us all. Oh. We're one big family here. Okay. Well, I know people need to sit down and him talk now. <laughs> I started crunching numbers today. I started crunching some numbers today, and they are a little bit better than I had thought. Look at this year versus last year, and if you look at your sheet at the highlighted section, that top line. It shows in 2018 a general fund balance of 935,000 against the today balance of 353,000. Well, that gives me a little bit of pause. I'm thinking, why are we so far under last year? But let's look at the whole picture. We started off 2018, January 1, that's at the very top of the page, with $1.6 million in the general fund versus this year 1.2 million on January 1. That difference of $438,000, almost all of that was SWM. And we reacted to that within our budget that we're operating in. So the way that really culminates into where we are today, to get a clear picture $353,000. We need to add to that $102,000 because if you recall, we expensed off $102,000 for the courthouse grant project, but we have not received the funding behind that yet. But that's coming. So we have another 102 coming. Last year's amount of 935,000 included a deposit from bank proceeds for a 911 upgrade that had not been expensed out yet. There were a couple of loan proceeds. Looking back into the, uh, the ordinances from uh, June, July, and August of last year, proceeds had dropped in that had not been expensed out yet because I was wanting to look at where we are headed through the rest of the year and what should we expect from here on out. So Misty ran me totals at the end of each month from August, September, October, November, and December. At the end of August, the general fund was $420,000. And I'm thinking, how could we have dropped 
from 935 to 420 last year. So in that research, that top number was inflated because we had dropped funding in, but we had not chased that funding with the expense just yet, if that makes any sense at all. So when we're looking at August 31st, and where do we anticipate ourselves to be this August 31st, because that's just, what, six weeks away? We are at 353. We are expecting another 102 to come in grant funding. We, our ins and our outs, are pretty much jiving now. Taking into account that we started off last year for $438,000 more which means we are managing our budget very, very well. And we're in better shape than I realized we were in because I was looking at that very small number against last year's very large number. And I was worried to death. But looking, looking at the whole, the whole picture, we're pretty good. So unless you see something I don't, now we did take a hundred thousand dollars from reserve and move over into general that was a part of this year's budget so we can wash that out say the hundred thousand dollars from the grant that we're expecting in from the courthouse grant project eh, that was the money pulled out of reserve we're headed in the right direction we're within a hundred thousand dollars of where we should be after starting off four hundred thousand dollars away from where we, we should be we just can't quit now exactly we just can't quit now we keep on doing what we're doing well that, that changes the picture mm -hmm. so it's a better picture it is a better picture <laughs> we will sleep better, better tonight it's not where we <laughs> want to be but we're <laughs> better <laughs> change i also forgot <laughs> something um bill you had also asked me to call yeah. other companies right um and then I, th I think i put this in here i talked to cleveland county mm -hmm. they are basically in the same boat we're in okay they had to put their um salaries back into general from reporting she's gone back to the 75 clean time she said i tried it just like you did and it just you know it worked for a while but it didn't turn out faulkner county she of course they're quite a bit bigger than we are um she pays her recording staff out of recording. She pays her court staff out of court, out of general. She gives no money to the general from her recording. Mm -hmm. And then Stone County, um, they are strictly general. So, um, so if we can talk about my position, Jan, real quick. She makes twelve dollars and ten cents an hour. She works. 40 hours a week and um, her budgeted salary right now is $12,584. She works 20 hours a week. 20, I'm sorry, 20 hours a week, 40 of her pay period. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, I, I, I apologize. Yeah, that's what it like part done to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and I will see the other sheet. You know, her job duties, her the civil is a big job and it demands close attention there's you know some deadlines on it people are constantly calling market why have you filed my answer yet you know my judgment file juvenile is the highest level of security we have jane is the main person that does juvenile i do have another girl that knows some about juvenile and um she if i don't i don't i don't mess with juvenile because in my opinion, every, all your T's have got to be crossed and your I's have got to be done. It's just really, you know, a big deal. So I just like to keep one person involved, or maybe a backup and one person involved as you know. And of course that stuff is, you know, there's a lot of people involved. It's very time sensitive. Um, it's like, kind of like the criminal. There's a lot of data entry to it, even though there's e-filing. Um, she does the appeals. They are extremely time sensitive. Um, and they demand pretty much your whole attention when you've got one to do. Because uh, the Court of Appeals is pretty strict on how you put it together. And so my plan is to move Olivia 
and move her to Jan's position because she knows civil. She knows a little bit about juvenile and she's pretty quick. She can learn the appeal process. So my part-time position that Jan is right now that I'm losing, I want to move them to Olivia's position and run the front desk, do the domestic, do the probate, possibly, and order protections, that kind of stuff. But that's easier stuff to, to teach someone than the more, what I would call high profile stuff. Still be, it would still be a part time. Um, they, do get, they do get retirement, they do not get any of the benefits, no paid holidays, nothing else. And she's leaving at the end of the month. Yeah. So, and that, I mean, just about from you looking at the caseload, not the caseload, the job duties, even if the caseload numbers don't appear to need to be high, just keep in mind that we still have a lot of cases. We still have to take the time to enter everything. We absorbed Janice's position when I lost her. And we made it. It's been tough, but I honestly don't see absorbing another one, even a part time. I, I just, not with what she's doing and what Olivia is going to be leaving to do. Because Olivia can't do all that. She can't do her job and take over James. There's just no way. And I roam. I mean, I help a little bit with everything. I, I roam around and, and I'll do a little bit of all of it. But I have my own things I have to do, and I can't. Um. You know it doesn't take court for approval, right, to replace her. Well, that's what I'm asking. I didn't think it did, but I also didn't want to assume it didn't, even though I know it doesn't, But because I don't want somebody to say, well, she didn't even ask us, she just compared to somebody. You know, I don't want to. <laughs> do that again. <laughs> yeah, do that again. Wait a minute, let me get my camera out. <laughs> so I, I just want to kind of be on the up and up with everybody. So okay, y'all so, don't think I went behind your so back. So Olivia's going to take Jan's. She doesn't know it, but yes, she's going to take you. Oh, God bless her. Yeah, God uh, bless her heart. <laughs> she's, in, she's in Panama right yeah. now. So she's, she's in Panama. Panama. What's her phone number? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you don't yeah. have to speak Spanish. She could probably tell you a few things in Spanish. I bet she would. <laughs> so, uh, so who's going to take over? So you're going to hire another part-time for Olivia? I'm going to hire a part-time to replace okay. Jan's part-time right. position. And you already have the money for this? Yes, it's already in the budget. Okay. But see, here it is. It's in the reporting budget, but it's still budgeted. Yeah. It's still a position that's already there. Um, start next year, when all this goes through, that'll come out of your recording. 25%. But my, and, I, and maybe I'm not understanding, but please help me understand this. If we let everything drop like it is, and at the end of the year, we just basically zero out the recording to get it to zero balance. I won't be starting under again. That's my problem. That's why I was saying. I mean, I understand the clean audit, and that's awesome to me. But if we don't do something to move something over to general, then that recording can't grow to where I can pay those two rounds. So in January, you won't be able to pay them. No, because yeah, we'll, we'll be clicking we'll zero, zero it out, right. clean it up, and it'll have a zero balance. Yeah, what so you I'll do is, what you do, you're going to have two part timers? Run one out of general, one out of reporter's cost, and you'll build. But you, you will be this year. You'll still be putting your money in your reporter's cost. Yes, it's, I think we're all we're going to be everything just like it is, and just fix so it. So just keep here. putting that in there, and then county general will have to put some in there to cover your cost. So there might from be here on out. Kinda. So it should, it, it may it level. Should have a little bit it to should start. be fine to start with okay. yeah. in yeah. January. Should okay. level out. I just want to make sure I understood that because yeah. I didn't want to start out with the negative for the next year. So. Okay, so this is my next one. I've never done this before. This is my first time to have to come with a problem. So do I have packets ready for corn court for the next meeting? Do we discuss it then again? Do I just wait for y'all to let me know what are we going to do? Or just leave it alone for now? We're just going to leave it alone. Leave it alone. Uh, well. We can't leave it alone because we're too far in the red. Okay. Yeah, we'll need to get with Misty to see where That's the true. money is. We can move over to your yeah. report. Okay, and do we need, so we're going to move money over to, to get me out of the red. So we don't have to talk to auditors about letting the crop on or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
and it, it, it'll just be a it'll have to be an ordinance uh -huh. because it's more than a simple transfer but it's just an appropriations ordinance so how much are we talk about technologies what we're in the red right at this uh, next board meeting or you and Misty figure that out. And, um, yeah, we're 22 and we have one more payroll this month. So it'll be another almost $10,000. It's all the same. <laughs> it's all the same. It's, uh, it's all the same. 75 Okay. So, and we are not in a hiring freeze. That money is already in her budget, so there's nothing to be addressed with the partner. Yeah. Um, do I need to have package ready in case someone asks me in the form of why we're transferring this money or is that something within yourselves that's going to be discussed or? Yeah, you should be ready. Be ready? Okay. Always be ready. So I'll just basically just make additional packets like just, I did just and like have this, here. Yeah, is right. that going to be fine? Okay. Yeah. We'll have our packets. So yeah. So need you only need okay. five yeah. more. Okay. All right. Well, any questions for me? Yeah. I'll sponsor that one. Anybody have any questions? Thank you. Thanks, Debbie. Is there anybody else that needs to speak? You again? No, I'm sorry. I left my paraphernalia up here. found out today y'all probably already know the library is wanting to have a special election yeah. which is going to cost at least $20,000 yeah. at least and from the traffic I've seen already on Facebook there are a lot of people upset about it and they don't want any more taxes <coughs> and uh, my biggest concern is if it doesn't pass, we spent 20 something thousand dollars. How's the library gonna pay us back for the cost of what they want for a special election? All right. So I can tell you, I ain't gonna worry. Well, I, I know they're voting for a meal. I mean, I think they're looking at a meal. Two mil, yeah, going two from mil. one mil to two mil. And I think that's a, a hit in the face for people, um, personally. I'll state this on the record. We're being recorded. We need to show as a county, because we have an outstanding bond of well over a million dollars with interest and all paid to paid out. It's, it's 1.9, but with interest, you're coming a little over $2 million. Whether or not that millage passes, we have to show that we are trying to do something to cover that debt. It's not as much of, I don't know, we, we, it, it's an effort. And it I just is what it is. I agree with you. I mean, I, I understand the opinions on it. Uh, I feel like there is that building and there, there is this issue. Uh, and it's working toward a solution. I'm not saying it's going to be the solution, but... I think ultimately the building is going to, I mean, there's a note on it that the county is going to have to pay. And so I'm not saying that, you know, I, just to take the millage vote out, but we have to work toward a solution on it. And, and I think as a county, it's a county problem, we have to work toward a solution. Now, uh, and to go to the bank to even renegotiate things, there has to be an effort on our part to try to solve the problem and to have a fix. And if we go to them with nothing and no effort, then they're not going to be as inclined That's to work with us. The only problem I have with that is they're, they're asking us to spend thousands of dollars to prove to them that we're trying and we can't pay our next note. But that is... That comes out of the library fund, yes. right? It's I a it's a library, it's a library election. Expense, so. But we, I mean, the county has to pay for the election, and then I'll bill them, and they'll mm -hmm. pay us back if they have the money. 
Did they get their signatures? I think, yes, Pardon they me? did get their signatures. They did get their signatures, but the wrong date is on it, so they're going to have to, and they know this. Yeah, absolutely, I'm absolutely 100% against the village. That's only against your property owners. That's, that's wrong. It's my understanding, though, as far as the expense of the election, and I don't want to... I don't want to be uneducated and be wrong. I know that they're having a meeting tomorrow night. But I think that they do have the money, it's my understanding, to, to come to, yes. So it's, you know, they're going to pay for it. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I think that there's definitely, you know, and we've talked about different ideas on things that could be done, and that board needs to come up with some solutions and maybe there needs to be some reorganization but I, I feel strongly that if we're going to put on them it's like when we have problems and things we have to work through we try to come up with solutions if we're going to make this board responsible I feel like when they come up with proposed solutions I want to support you know I mean I, I feel like they're trying I, I feel like they're trying and I feel like as a county we have to show some good effort because we all own that building we're going to own that building so I agree with what Dale said. It's my yeah, and, but I was, yeah, as long as their solutions are viable. Right. I mean, I mean, but there has to be something to go along with it, just like what you said. Raising reorganization, taxes isn't the answer. Reorganization of the board or or something. Yeah. You know, common sense solution would be, yeah. would be go back right. to the bank and don't get me wrong and renegotiate. Don't get me wrong. I I don't support a tax increase. Period. I'll say it. We have to show effort to be able to do what Dell's talking about, to be able to go back and reapproach the bank. Because that to me is the logical way to do it. The bank the bank is not gonna defunct. If you pay them whatever, they're gonna pay it okay. You know, it's not gonna be as much, it's gonna take longer to pay it off. But if that's what we need to do, then that's what we need to do. Is that is that coming straight from the bank or from the library board that explain that that's not coming from the library board so would they get to come to the court board and discuss it I don't have a I don't know under title 38 they don't have they don't have to they only have to have major signatures and we'll be putting on an election a special election County will have to put the bill and then bill them later. Of course, the, the point was brought up why why do it as a special election? Wait till November and put it on that ballot instead of spending twenty thousand extra that dollars. Would, that would is, is, there a, is there an election that it could be put on in November or would it have to wait till March? There is a yeah, in the 2020 election, not this year, not 2019. Well, but, and I, I think that there's a timing issue far as that note. Yeah, um, they have money for this year, but right. I don't have money for more than next year. Way it falls. Yeah. So it wouldn't be in time is my they wouldn't be able to collect right in time to yeah. In time to service that note. That was the issue there. Is what is but as long as they're trying, maybe the bank would work with them if it's gonna be on the twenty twenty election. And that would save us twenty thousand dollars or more. Which could save them $20,000. Yeah, which could go towards mm -hmm. their loan payments. Has anybody discussed that with you? I will be at the library board meeting tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, um, you know, I mean, I think that they're trying to work for, to a solution. I know that we don't know the answer yet. So that's a good thing to propose. I, I don't know. My understanding, and I would think if I was a bank too, I mean, I would want to show some faith of, of that you tried to service the note. And I think that that's what they're going off of and that's feedback that different people have gotten. And so I think that that's what they're going off of. I think they have good intentions and I think we are where we are. Um, but I think that the, the problem with doing it in the general election of 2020 is that it was just too late. I mean, they, they really wanted to get it voted on in July. We have to keep in mind that this is not a simple bank note. This is a bond. Yeah. And it has multiple parts involved, from White River Planning and Development to to a bank. Yeah. So does White River Planning have a say in it also? 
or is that uh, just the bank? I, I, I think that that is something that has complicated it tremendously because it's kind of like, well, you need to talk to the bank. No, you need to talk to White River. I mean, it's a very complicated scenario. So if it was just like a straightforward loan, you go to the loan officer and we can do this. So many things tied up in it, the way it was done, and I don't even really understand it. Is making nothing straightforward. So really, White River and the bank, the quorum court, and the library board need to get together and meet. They can approach the quorum court. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But what can the quorum court do? They are an administrative board by statute. They, the quorum court, has the authority and the ability to appropriate their funds, which is their mill that they collect. The only option is don't appropriate it. Well, we're at a point to where they need more than their mill, so really at what? Where is the quorum court in that? They've appropriated their mill. So. Yeah, but I would think they would need to be part of it because it's, if they don't pay their bills, then it's gonna fall back on the quorum. It does and it doesn't. Because also by statute, the quorum court has the obligation to pay that note. Period, bar none. And that's just where they are. Uh, as far as operating it, on the, what, $20,000 that's left over or so? 20, 30, 40, 50, whatever it is. That's for, unfortunately, in the way it's set up, it's not the quorum court's problem. It's the library boards. And they have a lot on their shoulders. So if you were the library board and you knew this, what decisions would you be making? because there aren't any easy ones. And it's also very important to recognize that there may be one on the board that was there when these decisions were made. The rest has cycled off. And I think that that's an important, I mean, you know, you come in and you didn't make those decisions and you're stuck with, and you're stuck with it and you're not getting paid. I mean, you know, so. Yeah, I mean, you get handed and you're not being paid. And so what we look at is we have the board and they just walk away. And so, I mean, you know, I'm not saying that they're threatening to do that. No way. But, I mean, they could. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're not getting paid. They've been handed a problem. And so I just think, you know, I'd like to support them. And I get that we'd all differ on how we would do that. A hundred percent. I'm not. But I think that they are coming together. They're trying to come up with a solution. I and so, you know, I think the building is ultimately our problem. And from the feedback that I've heard, the we need to show an effort. And so that's that's where I see you on it. We got to sit there. Aren't you on the one? No, I'm not on the one. I've been going since this whole. Uh, Chad was on it the first of the year, but he was on. Well, there's some questions there to be asked too. I mean, I know. There were some meetings earlier on in the year where they didn't really want to make a lot of changes. I think I've talked to you a little bit about it. And they're willing to... I think maybe that's evolving. We're, we're you know, all Work on that a little bit. Right. I, I really know. do. I, and I think that it's everybody involved. I mean, you know, you get to know the situation more and there's more... It's deeper than you think, and it's more complicated, you know. And then, and then we all realize that we're in the boat together. I mean, it's just my kind of thing. We're all in this boat together, and nobody's out to get anybody. It's just, can we get a solution here? I well, mean, just you know, for the record, I support the library. I just don't support our taxes. Well, and that's where I am. I, and I told you this same thing. I'm just not that I don't support the library. I, I do. I, I have no problem with the library. I do have a problem with the building. <laughs> Do. And, and so. you know, to further complicate things, it's not like the quorum court can simply get together and say, this is a big problem. Let's give them some money to help them out of this because you don't have any money to give. That's right. Yeah. Okay. 
Nothing and that's why, needed. you know, I, I you know, I'm gonna vote for the military, you know, because I, I don't have any money to give them that brought me down. Uh, and so you know, I don't have any money to give them, but I do support the library too, we can all support it in our own way. So. But that's I just true. hope we I hope we come up with a solution. Don't know what it is for sure yet, but I hope we do. If everybody would just stop buying lottery tickets and take that lottery money and, and give to the library, it would be all right. Yeah. <laughs> if a frog had wings, he wouldn't bump his That's butt. exactly right. Yeah, but exactly then you're right. Messing, up, messing up college kids. I know, I know. You take from one and give, give to, to the other. other. <laughs> Robin Hood. Uh, is there any other... Anything else? We went over the finances. Uh, Dale did a good job on that. I'm glad he did that. Now that we're on the press, yes, yes, yeah. I'd like to talk about um, solid waste. Me and Dale's talked about it quite a bit. Um, we asked for money at the first of the year because we were kind of in the hole for 18. We didn't ask for quite enough, so all our bills are being held till we have the money to pay them. And some of them was being held for quite a while. Um, our dump bill, which is a big one, is usually what around twenty-five to twenty-eight thousand. It's been as much as forty. Yeah, and those were I having to hold and hold and hold because the money's not there. Um, Dell thinks that you know eventually it might catch up, but that's another one that we're in the hole in that we might consider maybe moving some money over. Um, mm -hmm. So we can pay our bills on time. Um, re the recycling market has just collapsed. Uh, I I'm not sure what's happened at the federal level. I know that a lot of our recycled material used to go to China, and now it does not. And we have seen a price like, take for instance, cardboard, which has been as high as $170 a bale, is now 30 and falling. Uh, we're, we're just not receiving the, the funding on the back side of, of those recyclables. We did increase our tonnage by reducing our rates because people were bypassing us and going straight to Moralton. That's why we were bleeding so bad in the back half of last year. So we reduced our rates, got all those people back, even received a carrier, like all of their, their, uh, their trash. Instead of them taking it to Moralton, they're bringing it to here now, which is Diamond State. Things taken from other counties coming through our transfer station. But those commercial haulers, we only make $20 a ton, and, and we have all the overhead. We have taken a lot of expense cuts. We lost the guy, and we're not replacing him. Uh, it was a part-time gentleman. Uh, the difference isn't drastic. Next year, when we get our backhoe paid off, I think we'll be will be more okay in, in the whole scheme of things it's a very insignificant amount amount but it does hold up all of the bills because you have to receive next month for the bills incurred this month well we when we when we caught up we didn't take that into account the bills we thought we could just pick it up but it didn't happen that way how, how do we fix that? Does it, take a it, it, it will take a county general subsidy to catch us up. We're still we're we're catching everything, but we're a month behind. Mitchell, what what kind of money are you talking? You hear it showing we're we're about two thousand. I don't know if we've even got our dump bill. Have we for this month? I don't know if that one's been ran yet. I don't remember signing off on it. I mean, it, I, so. I don't think it's went through, but I didn't know if we was holding it. It's but about. You're probably looking at what, $30,000? I, I started to say probably about 30000 That is what we should have moved over to begin with. That way we're not chasing it. We're, we're just there where we need to be. And then we're, we're paying our way and we're making our cuts as we go. We're doing what we have to do as a business. But we're, we're still... We're just in the hole to start with. It, it was a little... It, it, is not, it, was, it was a little worse than we thought. It's not payroll, when We right? started off. It's not payroll? It's everything. Okay. Do we need to cut somebody back? We did. Do we need to cut another one? We can't. If I were to attrition a full timer, I would try to go back in with a couple of part timers. But yeah, you know, we're we're down. I mean you have to 
you know, ADEQ has their requirements and you have to have a, a master's in this and a master's in that and they have to be there with this, this staff and we have to operate the way we have to operate. Wasn't that fun? Didn't a $40,000 bill come in late or something that it, it kind of started in the negative? That is. We should have moved 60 to begin with, at least 60. But we didn't know. So did we solve that? Did we solve we it? We did. We did put, I think it's around 40000 the first of the year, but we're still, like I said, it wasn't enough. Basically, our bills were paying a month late now because there was no money in there. It was just enough money to cover 2018 bills. Right. Since then, we've held our own, though. It's just we're catching it, playing catch up. I mean, it's, and it's in the red. Can so, we get caught up so we're not in the red? That's all we're talking about. Right. We but I mean, can we money. solve that? But we got to have money from County we General to right. do that. See, can, can we, we solve, solve that? <laughs> <laughs> do we have any money in County General? Exactly. Hmm. We can't even hardly pay for a $20,000 election that we don't want. But, and then what, they need 28000 I mean, when does the bleeding stop? I'm just letting y'all know that Thank that's you. our bills are exactly. being paid behind. Does yeah. it cost us when we pay them late? There like, are some, it? Pam probably could address that more than me, but there are some that there are penalties if you don't pay those on time. Yeah. And that's another thing I want to talk about uh, maybe eventually or for next year is putting a line item or a line in here for late payments so y'all can tell which department we're having to pay late payments. Yeah. That's a good idea. Late fees. Yeah. Y'all yep. can tell more what's going on. We yeah. yeah. But in full disclosure, Solid Waste hasn't paid any late fees this year. Actually, Solid Waste is doing better than they used to because we are. County we General really are. used to have to subsidize them every year. I don't know if we did last year or not. Uh, we did at the beginning of this year. Yeah. Because it yeah, was this year. Well, I don't know if it we didn't year. realize all those all those bills were sitting there waiting to be right. right. Now, who, uh, I'm sorry, Misty. On the on the solid waste bills, who are the bills that we owe? Are they well, I'm not sure exactly what owed at this time. Uh -huh. But the big bill that normally sits for so long mm -hmm. is the, the where we pay for the, I guess it's called Where the we dump. trash to, yes. yeah. Oh, more, more, more. Yes. 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 Yeah. Mm. And then if you pay it, then you got a whole bunch of little bills. I know Tanya said one time, one sat there for, I think, three months, did she say? Little bills. Uh, I've yeah. taken care of all that. Yeah. I mean, we're, we we're, not, that we're not that bad. We're, 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 we're working toward it, but that's, we, we probably do have some bills down there in a the folder. It just kind of seems like we're going to have to do it. <laughs> 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 we're going to have to do it, yeah. I mean, to solve that. To just all get all it even and then go from there. And if we're losing after that, she knows what's really I feel like it's something that. Because this, this may be. But I don't know. know that we address if we're. Yeah. Being if we're going red, right right after that, we address. But. We started out in holes, so it's kind of just kind of over there. Right. Yeah, and and we, we really have already addressed everything because, like you said, we've held our own. Yeah. Right. yeah. It's just, yeah. It's just, and that's the, that's the, it's just holding something. It's not. It's and it's not supposed to be a money maker. Right. And it's not supposed to be a money pit. It's supposed to break even. Yeah. That the whole intent is to break even. We very, very, very few counties don't subsidize their solid waste program, even if they have it completely leased out. But I think out. once we get this caught up, it, it will be We should be fine, there. yeah. yeah. Are, are there any extra dollars in County General? Dude. <laughs> There's our answer. <laughs> we only need about 100000 Yeah. Give or take. Cough it up? Um, Nothing. So you can't cough that up? I just don't know. <laughs> 
No, I will I will come to y'all with a with a transfer and, and everything if, if it gets to that point. That's just a heads up. Hopefully it won't. Hopefully we can keep flow at this point. And we heard nothing else from Swim about anything, right? Um, I'm trying to think of what I want to say with the recorder on. Okay. We have heard from Swim. And, and uh, here's what happened. You know, Swin came to us with a letter instead of a, a, a check. Uh, they said that they didn't believe they owed that much tax, even though ADC tells us exactly which formula to use, and we have to hold to ADC. But ADC threw the counties under the bus when the counties were taken to court because it wasn't Swin against ADC, it was Swin against Van Buren County, Swin against Faulkner County, Swin against Cleburne, White, and uh, did I miss a county? Uh, there are five of the Fayetteville Shell counties that they filed suit against, uh, Conway County. Um, they, they stated that they felt that they should be paying 41% of the taxes that they were billed. Then they came back with a settlement that was half, they offered half of the undisputed portion, which would take it down to 78% of their total bill. I don't believe it's the county's place to even entertain a settlement at this point, because as a county, our, in, our skin in the game pales to compare to the schools. Last year's deficit alone for Southside School was $1.6 million, and we're looking at three or 400000 for county general. I don't believe we should be putting ourselves in a position to settle that, uh, something that makes that much of an impact on all these other entities. Uh, Clinton Schools was $1 million. So we're talking a lot of money, and I don't believe it's ours I don't believe it's up to us. Uh, we need to let the legal system work and tell us what's right. They're saying that the fair market value isn't fair because they don't sell their gas at that, the, the Henry Hub price. They sell it to a wholesaler. Swin owns that wholesaler. They can make that amount any amount they want it to be. It's too ambiguous. It's there are so many moving parts in this and it's so difficult to understand and honestly when I go to these meetings I still don't fully grasp it. it, it someone who it really needs to go to a court and a judge needs to decipher through all of this and hopefully the state if Trina or Emma would have assessed the values that they think we should have assessed, they would have been roasted over legislative audit or by legislative audit. So that's where we are on the SWIN process. Has anybody said? No. Okay. No. And the Fayetteville Shell County judges are getting together in Cleburne County this Thursday because it is important. We're all in this together. It's important that we have that good open communication and that they don't try to pull a fast one over one county. Are the schools involved in this as well? Yes, they are. We have five minutes left on our tape. All right. Did anything else to discuss? No. We got some. Second. <laughs> All those for adjournment. Adjournment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>